Hello again! Today I am working on this Delta Species Latios from the EX Holland Phantom set. This set released in Japan in January 27th, 2006 and came out in America May 3rd, 2006. This card is one of many cards from this set that have the Delta Species logo on them and they actually have a completely different type than the type they would normally be in the video games. This Latios, for instance, is a water type in the TCG, whereas in the video game it would be a psychic dragon type, and I think in most of the TCG before this set, he was either classified as a normal or a psychic type, as dragon type cards have not been released yet at this point. As with just about every TCG set, there was one run printed for Japan and one that came over to America, and the kind that we, we would know. In Japan, actually, this card was printed as a McDonald's promo, but it was later included in the actual Hall on Phantom set for America. This card was number 22 out of 110, again in the set EX Hall on Phantoms, and was illustrated by Mazakazu Fukuda. Fukuda actually continues to illustrate Pokemon cards to this day. Um, his most recent work was on the Snorlax V card from Sword and Shield. And now that I've covered some of the history of this card, I'm going to talk a little bit about this artwork that I'm doing. I believe the original artist included this huge lake simply because this Latios is now a water type and I think it was probably just a callback to that, so I did want to incorporate this lake as much as possible. For whatever reason, I was really struggling with this field in the background and matching the color properly. It really took me quite a few coats to get it how I wanted it to look. For this painting, I'm actually using what is called a reverse hollow form of this card. Reverse hollows, as we know them today, usually have like the border where the text is, is all holographic. But actually, when these EX Hall on Phantom sets and the Delta Species sets came out, reverse hollows actually just meant that the Pokemon itself was holographic and not the artwork behind the Pokemon. And now for these mountains. This card had quite a bit of holographic bleed, which simply means that the holofoil layer was shining through the top layer of ink, and so parts that would normally be opaque were actually kind of reflective. So what I ended up doing was going back and painting over the original mountains quite a bit just to stop the hollow bleed from coming through. It's just a little pet peeve of mine when you hold the card to light and you can see parts where the paint is showing and parts where it's supposed to be holographic. So I just end up usually painting over the original art at that point. These mountains took the most amount of time. I worked them and worked them and worked them and you'll see me do quite a few layers on these mountains. I kept flip-flopping from the dark side of the mountains to the light side of the mountains, just trying to match the original ones to the best of my ability. I ended up having to pull out this tiny little brush, and I wanted to show you guys how small these brushes can be that I'm working with to get some of the more minute details on these mountains. But ice, I assume they're made out of ice, is just really hard for me to paint. It's kind of like snow in the fact that it's not completely white and there is like blue and purple and even orange sometimes showing through. So I had to go back a ton of times to match the color properly and make sure that my tones were right. If I were to go back and paint this card again, I probably would have sketched the mountains out a little more than just the abstract triangles I threw in. I struggle a lot with figuring out where exactly I want shadows to fall and light to reflect. And if I had gone back and actually shaped out some more forms on these mountains, I think it would have helped me a lot in the long run. But instead, I just struggled through and tried to make up rock faces on the fly. 
And at the end here, I just finished off this weird blue aura coming off of the Latios' wings, glossed it, and then I was finished. This car took me maybe an hour and a half to complete, and of course it took me 24 hours to let the gloss dry after I, I glossed it and finished it and all that stuff. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, the next card will be a Houndoom card, and I hope to get that to you before the end of this month, but this month has been really hectic, but I will do my best to get that to you guys. So thank you again for watching. If you're interested in any of my social medias, they will all be linked down below, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.